Okay, we're going to go around setting up the tags and objectives we install when we first set up new players and explain the usage of those. You might notice that I've got a new citizen list in the right hand side and also that the name colour changes when we get away from PvP and no PvP. There we go, I'm now in a PvP zone because my name's white. And when I head back towards the spawn, my name turns into grey, so there's no PvP here. Now that's using the team system, which we discussed in the previous video. What we have on the side is the new citizen score that we installed with any new citizens and we can turn that display on or off. The reason we have the new citizen display is when uh, we log in we can see who's new and who isn't. When a player is no longer new we'll give them or we'll reset their score to nothing which means they won't appear in the new citizen score. So you can leave that on all the time and it'll be blank unless there's new citizens. Now when someone logs in we don't want to give them complete access to everything straight away. We need to make sure that they're really interested in staying here and doing the right thing. So that's why we introduced the citizen stat objective in the initial video. We can actually have a look at um, the scoreboard objectives Oops. list see so we have citizen status and new citizen new citizen is the one on the side citizen status is what we'll use to to control citizens access I'll just bring that up on the side screen so we can watch it while we're doing this Objectives, set display, sidebar. Notice you can set the display in various places. Um, you need to add an objective, eh? So, citizen stat. Oh, why is that? Uh, I think we decided we were going to make that five. So, and work backwards. So, Let's see what we did there. With the new player. You might remember this is the new player setup. Let's take uh, teleporting, the greeting, clearing their inventory, clearing their levels, clearing their points. Teleporting them. New citizen tag one. Citizen stat. We need to change that to a five. We'll count back to zero. Okay, so let's make mine five. Better. Now we have five in there. So what we're going to do is a citizen when they first come in, if they're stat five, they won't be able to build or mine until they're a stat four. Okay. Now we have in the command box we have where we <coughs> at the top we have where we set up who can do what. We need to actually add. Remember that we change the game mode to survival here. If they were not an admin, 
So there was all players that were admin could go into survival mode once they got away from the spawn. We're going to add something to that. We're going to say scores equals close brackets. We're going to put in citizen stat equals 4. So if the citizen stat is 4 or less, Actually, no, we don't need to change this one at all. This one's everybody. That one's everybody. Oh yeah, sorry, this is for citizens. We just didn't want admins to be changed. So, scores. Equals. Is a stat equals four. So the game mode will be changed if their citizen stat is four or less and if they're not an admin. Now, I don't know if you remember, but the admin was put in there so that um, I, if I was flying in and um, in the area, I wouldn't suddenly turn into, or it wouldn't suddenly change my game mode and I'd fall from the sky. Let's test that out, shall we? So I can still fly out of the range. game mode didn't change. So I'll remove admin. From me as soon as we make a day and I don't have to fight with zombies. If I remember my admin tag, it should change my game mode. There you are, I am in adventure mode and I cannot break anything. <coughs> these portals. <coughs> uh, 
Now normally if I was um, well before we change this when we got into the appropriate range we'd be able to mine but we've just put in a score check of 4 and because I am 5 my game mode should not change okay so I've reached the PvP border and I still can't build or mine which is exactly what we want let's go back now let's say I've been in, in the world for I don't know, or 20 minutes or two Minecraft days, whatever you want to set it at. So, my citizen stat has changed. Let's make it four. Okay. So now that I'm four, I should be able to, yes, my game mode's changed, and I can mine. When I go back towards the spawn, my game mode should change back. So using that simple score, we've stopped all new players from being able to mine or build until they've reached citizen status four. Now, however you want to change that, whether you want it to be automatic or whether you want to give it to the players physically by typing in the score like I just did, is entirely up to you. In another video, um, I'm going to make it so that after they've been on for uh, two world days, or maybe 20 minutes, it'll lower their citizen stat to four so they'll be able to mine and build after they've had a bit of a look around. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Actually, one last thing. Um, I'll also need to add that score into the portals. Um, so let's just give me admin again. Because we're changing the game mode in a number of locations, need to make sure we add that score to all of them. I'll do just one and then we'll sign out. Do copy and paste will make it easier. portal first. That's the teleport one. That's the PvP one. That's making adventure mode around the portal. So this is the one we want to change so that when they get away from the portal they can go back to building. Pop it in here. Done. So basically that's the same instruction that we changed at the command center. Only it's for the radius of the portal instead. Okay, 
I've got three more portals to do that to. Um, I'll go do them now. It's not under here, it's under the portal. All done. Thank you for watching. Uh, look out for the next stream when you see how I set up to actually have that change automatically um, instead of having to do it manually like I just did. Um, let's change the scoreboard back to viewing new players. citizen. Now I've been on here for ages now so we'll make my new citizen go away. Again you can do this manually like I'm doing now or you can have a command block to do it. So we'll reset it. We won't set it to zero, we'll just reset it. And there you go. So now that display will only show new citizens and won't display me all the time. That's it. Bye till next time.